guys, back here again. Out walking uh, Finnegan this morning and I got something kind of fun to play with later on so we're gonna keep on hiking and uh, we'll find a spot and set up and dig it out and have a look. It's kind of fun. Yeah, silly kind of way. Let's see. Okay, I think this is as good a spot as any. Let's uh, set up a little camp here and uh, I'll show you what I got. got Bushcraft Essentials Micro Stove. It's called the world's smallest twig stove. So I guess it fell out of the case already. So here it is. Comes this big, it's a teeny tiny little thing. I could, you can put it in your keychain, but let's have a look at this guy. All right, so what we got in here, we got the two, two cross members that go on the top. And we got all four sides and a bottom. So, I would think it would be the same as most of these stoves. I had seen this before. I had seen this before, but I didn't realize how actually tiny it is. My goodness, this thing's tiny. <laughs> so, do not go, oh, there it is. I did it. I did it. Look at that. <laughs> There's a teeny tiny little guy. Look at that. There it is. That's hilarious. All right, let's get this out of the way right off the hop here. They say this is the world's smallest twig stove. All right. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm telling you right now, do not buy this as a twig stove. I think it's a fantastic gimmick. It got me to buy it, but I think where this thing will shine would be like uh, what it's made for is just putting a little uh, little Esbit tablet in there and making your little coffee on there. But it said a hobo stove where it said world's smallest twig stove, so I just have to try it as a twig stove today. But I'm going to be fair. And I'm not going to uh, ask it to, to boil a liter of water. I'm sure it'll, it'll probably get clogged up pretty quick. So to be fair, we're going to have a, a little coffee on our little twig stove. <laughs> All right. So I got to go round up some, uh, some twigs and some brush. And uh, we'll come back for a little coffee time. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. It's gonna be, it'll be cute just to sit on the on the shelf. But I think what it, I'm gonna do is pack it up, put it in my glove compartment with a couple Esbit stoves as a as a little emergency uh, emergency coffee maker. So I got some twigs, and we got a little fire going. 
I think the key is really going to be getting some real good dry stuff. This is a willow and it burns. Willow seems to burn really quick so I might go see if I can get a little a few dry sticks of something different to, to mix up with it. But Yeah, not going to fool around with the uh, wet or crappy wood. Let's see what uh, Mr. Beaver's got for us. That's good. All the uh, the wood around here in the uh, He's got little feed beds. That's all going to be green because he want, wants to chew it. But anything up here, probably years old, nice and dry. Yeah, man. That's good. Good, good, good. It's not going to take much of that silly little stove. I'm going to... Uh, cheat with that little uh, wax wax wood again just because I'm not super confident yet <laughs> we won't fill it up but we'll cheat enough that we can get a good start okay might as well take that out right away Put some of this in there. We'll get the coffee maker all ready. Might as well, I'll show you that. These little, uh, these little coffee makers. You can see that little, little blow hole on the side here. You always just keep the water just below that, so it can pressure off if it needs to. little basket and the coffee this is Medagliadora espresso Just got thinking, this spot where I'm sitting right now is the very first uh, carving and coffee video. This is carving the old man. I sat right here. Different time of year, but uh, this was the spot. I just realized that. Okay, I'll have that ready. Get some of these sticks ready. Like I said, not overly confident, but we'll give her a fair go. The firebox is so tiny. And then we're just going to feed, we'll feed in from the side after it gets going. All right. See if we can. Set it right on there. There we go. Let's get that on here. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm going to split everything. Might as well start. Okay. 
All right. Better leave it alone. Quit playing with it for a minute. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna leave that alone. Let her get started. Get as much air as we can in there. It's so tiny. Oh, I brought a little friend. To have coffee with. Little hiking buddy. Made him last night. That'd be good to take some pictures. Okay, we got a fire. That there to block the little bit of wind. And I'm going to be very vigilant keeping that little little flame on the under the coffee pot. I think what I gotta do is make a little a little step here. Keep that wood level. Just keep feeding it in. For anyone who's not familiar with the uh, Esba tablets, all they are is a little uh, solid fuel tablet. You pop them out of the package and you light them up and they're usually good for a coffee. I've never actually used one before. But I like to carry them around for emergency. Emergency like if I don't get a coffee out of this tiny little wood stove. You know what, maybe I've been giving it a bad rap already. We got a nice little fire going here. Oh. It's done. I didn't even hear it. Uh, I didn't hear it perking. Well, that was easy. My little cup. You know when you see me drink that big four four cup uh, espresso on my trips? That's not what normal people do. Normal people have a a little shot of espresso. Sugar. A little bit of sugar. That's my spoon. Where's my spoon? Who took my spoon? You? Finn's got burrs again. Beautiful. I'll put that here for one second. Take some glamour shots for the thumbnail. I think I can drink it. Well, it made me a coffee.
it is. Hot. It's hot. <laughs> Ben's looking at me like a lost brain. Okay, we gotta go dump this out. Cool her down. Well, my uh, my my assumptions weren't too far off. Like I said, super cute little stove, real fun little novelty item. Probably best just with the Esbit tabs, and with the Esbit tabs, you can't go wrong really. It's just a, a constant flame, so you, you'll be able to boil water no problem. And I think that's where it shines. But when I read that hobo stove or world's smallest twig stove, I had to give it a go. So it gave me a coffee. Give me a video. <laughs> I don't know what I pay for it. 30 bucks or something crazy. But it's kind of cute. It'll look cute just on the, on a shelf. But. <sighs> That's my fun for today. Coffee on the world's smallest twig stove. And like I said, probably best to... Uh, best just to be an Esbit stove. It went pretty quick but to be fair I'm boiling that much water or perking this much water so didn't have a big chore to do. A candle probably could have done it but anyway that was fun. Something a little bit different. I'm gonna take the the boy here home and uh, carry on with my day. So hope you like it. I never say this but uh, for Christmas why don't you subscribe. I don't know what's going on. Still 40 well, 49% of the views are uh, are not subscribers, so I don't know how that works, but give it a like, sub if you want, and I will uh, catch you on the next one. <laughs> See you guys.